have already reviewed common and proper nouns. And hopefully you read the definition on the board if you haven't already. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick tiny little review before. Remember common nouns is a noun that it doesn't have a specific name, like dog, house, cat, city. A proper noun is when it has a name, like Jace, Jack, Burger, which is the name of my dog, heritage, something that has a specific name. So. Um, when we go to capitalize words within a sentence, we always capitalize proper nouns. So if it is a name, it should be capital. That includes first names and last names if it's a person. If it's a city, you capitalize the, the entire name of the city. For example, Los Angeles. You're not writing this down. Emily, you're not writing this down. Just writing it on the board. For example, you capitalize both parts of the name of that city, even though it's not a person, it has two parts of the name, so you capitalize both parts. Like New York City is also another example. New is capital and York and city because, because it, is, it is the specific name of a city. So on the board in front of you should be um, a list one through five of different sentences that you're going to find the proper noun within them and capitalize it. So you're going to write it in your journal. This is your title. It's going to be review. Proper. Nouns. I know I'm right in front of it. In your vocab section. So before we continue, everyone, this is your reminder, please listen up because I can't be there to remind you. Go to your vocab section and title the page, Review Proper Nouns. See if I can do that. Vocab section, title it, Review Proper Nouns. You can pause this video if everyone needs a moment. And then give Miss Crew a thumbs up if you are at Review Proper Nouns, so that way she knows, okay, everyone is ready to go. I can keep moving. Okay, so the first sentence is on the board. So you can either copy it from the board or copy it here, but you are gonna put a blank at the end, just like how it's written on the board. It says, you're gonna, and you're gonna write the whole sentence. It is so short, it is not that big of a deal. When, when she got to school, Juliet turned in her homework. And I'm gonna, because I don't know how far you can see, I'm gonna come down here. Juliet turned in her homework. Okay, so there's a period after that. And what I want you to do is I want you to underline, under, sorry, underline, underline the proper noun. Um, and then you're going to capitalize it above there. So we're going to find the proper noun in this sentence. Let's reread it again. When she got to school, Juliet turned in her homework. I'm seeing a couple nouns right now. I'm seeing the noun school. I'm seeing homework. And I'm seeing Juliet. I want to think, is school specific? Am I naming a specific school? No. So it's probably not going to be school. Is Juliet, it sounds like it's a person, is that someone specific? That's specific, that's Juliet. I'm gonna underline that. I think I'm gonna probably come back to that. All right, what about homework? Well, it doesn't tell me like specifically the name of the homework. Even if it said math homework, that's not specific enough. It needs to be like a title. If I said, um, if I said the title was uh, think about math, homework and that was the name the title I gave it um that then it'd be capitalized but in this case it's just homework it's not specific I, I don't know what even it, what subject it even is so I know that it's probably going to be Juliet so I am going to capitalize Juliet that's my proper noun so you can either erase it or you can write the j over top of it it doesn't matter to me as long as you are identifying the proper noun and you are uh making it capital. This is, once again, it includes first names, it includes last names, it includes all parts of city names. Um, you need to make sure that the first letter is capital. So what you're gonna do independently is you are going to write number two, 
and number three, uh, and then you're going to change and find the proper nouns in each of those sentences. So number two, I'm gonna read them and write them on the board for you. I'll take a picture in just a second. But the sentence number two is, Henry got a new bat for his birthday. And number three is, Emily and Ken played four square at recess. Um, so just keep in mind all names of people, specific places and specific things. And also there can be more than one proper noun within a sentence. So if there's multiple names, multiple things that are specific, that is when you will capitalize both of those things. Just as a reminder about what your job is right now, you need to be writing down the three sentences that are about to pop up on your screen. The first one actually we already wrote, you just wrote it with me, should be the one about Juliet, that one. So really you're writing two sentences and then you're changing the proper nouns within the sentence to its capitalized version. So that's what you're doing. If you get done early, you can either read yourself or you can get out your writing, get ahead of the game and finish the intro that we started yesterday. Um, you'll receive instructions about what to do after that in just a minute during writing. For right now, you have about five minutes or so. Actually, this should take you, I mean like, I guess with copying down, we'll give you five minutes. Five minutes to copy down the sentences and to um, capitalize the sentences as well.